With the latest season of AHS being a big disappointment, I wanted to go back to a time when AHS was a brilliant fright fest. I've been wanting an excuse to rewatch the first five seasons, so I thought, why not review them episode by episode? My name is Mike Vaughn, and this is the AHS Rewind American Horror Story Season 1. By the way, a big spoiler warning, but... If you've never seen this series before, follow along with me. Watch the episode first and then come back here. Or if you're just wanting a refresh, I got you covered as well. However, uh, please stick around to the end of the video because I am going to play the AHS uh, bingo game. And uh, this is a... Um, some of this came from Reddit. Uh, some of it uh, I included myself and... Uh, I just think it's kind of a fun way to um, interact with y'all. So if you also want to play along with me, uh, I will link in the description uh, where you can download this, uh, print it out or whatever. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's a fun way to sort of pick fun at some of the um, maybe cringier tropes, but just some of the tropes in general. And uh, yeah, it's just for fun. But please stick around to the end of the video, and I'm going to um, play this episode by episode. And, and this is something I want to evolve over time, especially since I'm like re-watching these seasons, uh, and it's been quite a while. So picking, I might, so therefore I might pick up on some tropes um, that I don't necessarily have on here. And also, um, please let me know um, if there's any tropes uh, you'd like to see on this bingo card. Or, heck, even if you wanted to make your own, um, that would be really awesome. Um, so, with that, uh, sit back, relax, and let's get spooky as hell. Welcome to Murder House. The Harmon family, consisting of Ben, his wife Vivian, and daughter Violet, move into the infamous Murder House. We learn that Ben had an affair after Vivian miscarried. But of course, that is the least of their issues as the house has a blood-soaked history that refuses to stay dead. So, holy crap, the cold open to Murder House is up there as the most effectively scary moments in TV history. The tone Murphy and Felchuk deliver in such a short amount of time is just simply incredible. Again, this is the AHS that I cling to, even when the later seasons are seemingly getting worse and worse. Drop a comment below and let me know if this also scared the crap out of you when you first saw it. The pacing, the atmosphere, sound design, and editing, ooh, it all just works to make things very chilling. It also breaks a horror taboo of killing children. Speaking of taboo, this episode, and indeed this season, deals with school shooters, which is gutsy. And I go back and forth on whether or not I think this is valid to include in a season that is already overstuffed with through lines? Chime in below and let me know what y'all think. With the brutal intro scene and Tate's fantasies of shooting up his skull, AHS proves that they weren't playing and it really did feel dangerous that they could really go anywhere with this show. I also have to give serious props as this episode is just under an hour, but wow, does it ever get across a ton of information. Just by virtue of being a first episode, it has a lot of heavy lifting to do. It has to introduce the world, the characters, and the internal logic within said world. Yet, they introduce a ton of characters and set up threads for future plot lines. This could feel bloated and clunky, yet it's thanks to some razor-sharp writing that everything that's thrown at us feels really organic and natural. Ben and Vivian are clearly going through a lot. I mention them specifically because they introduce the core theme of this season, which is infidelity and lust, and how it can lead to rot both mentally and emotionally. Indeed, Ben and Vivian, and later on, Chad and Patrick, are tragic because neither couple can ever truly move on and be happy. They're always stuck in this hell that is an unhappy partnership. To me, this is such a scary and depressing punishment that is just as effective as the truly monstrous things going on within the walls of Murder House. Further amping up the lust factor is the introduction of the maid Moira, who, if you're a man, is seen as a sexy young woman played by Alexandra Breckenridge, or if you're a woman, 
she's seen as a older woman played by Frances Con- Conroy. This is such a refreshing and interesting idea and adds another bit of really interesting lore within the season. Both actresses are absolutely amazing and really play up the roles, yet never fully going overboard. The world building of early AHS seasons were really stellar, and right away, you do get a crystal clear picture of the thesis behind this season, and how it really balances the scares with the human drama. The episode ends with Vivian being pregnant, thus setting up Murphy's obsession with babies, birth, super babies, you name it, Murphy's into it, baby-wise. It's funny to think that this common theme in AHS was here from the very beginning. Wow, this was a hell of an amazing first episode. Not only does it seamlessly establish a scary as hell tone, but the ease in which it juggles all these new characters and building up future plot lines is really stellar. While not the highest rated episode this season, it really is so effective on many levels. I didn't really talk about the cast because I want to save that for more of a wrap up in the finale but needless to say every actor is just killing it here it makes me miss Jessica Lang and I hope that Evan Peters returns to AHS okay so I hope you enjoyed that review but now I want to play the AHS bingo card uh, game or whatever Um, so Uh, There's a few things I want to clarify uh, before we get started. So each episode, you can start a new card. Um, And uh, I know there might be a few um, spaces that maybe y'all don't understand. So I'll like quickly explain it. Um, Like poorly written POC characters that refers to people of color. Um, The bury your gaze is a unfortunate trope where um a a gay or queer character is killed off just basically to sort of um inspire um feelings from the straight characters or maybe to just sort of haphazardly um further the plot or it could just be very unnecessary um the other thing i wanted to clarify since this show has a lot of um supernatural elements um back from the dead I wanted to clarify really quick because um, the way I'm counting this is if a living character dies and then comes back to life, not as a ghost, but comes back to actually being alive. uh, That's what I mean by back from the dead. So uh, I think that's basically the only thing that I also wanted to sort of uh, clarify. Um, So let's get into it. Okay. So, the cold open has, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, count them, four uh, bingo things. So, okay, of course, we got uh, our free space, so we'll, like, X that. Uh, we got flashback right away to 1978 in this episode. Weird camera angle, uh, we got that almost right away. Baby shown, uh, so this is up to your interpretation, but there was babies in the uh, jar, like glass jars in the like weird ass basement. So I'm counting that. And then ran to a ghost, of course. Um, All right, so um, getting into the episode, we have um, Addie being referred to as a slur. Which I'm not going to say here, but uh, I'm going to count it. Uh, so this is what we got so far. Uh, leather, rubber. Um, obviously, that was like pretty early on uh, as well. Uh, horny ghosts. Uh, sex scene. Um, so I already got bingo here, but let's keep going. Um, Physical assault, uh, which, again, I have to kind of be careful what I say uh, regarding YouTube, but um, Vivian having sex with uh, who she thinks is her husband but isn't is um, our word by deception. So I'm going to count that. 
And tragic backstory um, with Dennis O'Hare's character. We don't quite know that it's super tragic until a little bit later. And I went back and forth, but I'm going to count this anyways, um, because this is just for fun. So um, this is what I had. Uh, If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. Also, speaking of, um, let me know what you think of this new series. Uh, I don't know. I just think this is a really fun. I'm really excited about getting into uh, at least the first four, if not five seasons of AHS, and maybe even more if y'all really like this um, and it gets a really good response. But um, thank you for hanging out with me for playing this weird bingo game that I made. And uh, I will see y'all in the next video.